Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are doing another story time with Love Cubs. I have Lucas here with me. How you doing, bud? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing freaking great. I can't wait. Today's episode is going to be super exciting because we're going to be doing a little more Minecraft chat, uh, specifically for the Minecraft Live and a, a, a bit about um, modded Minecraft in particular. So I figure it's kind of fitting, and you said the same thing, it's kind of fitting because uh, we talked about Minecraft in the last episode and it seems to work out. It'll work out very well for this one. Yes, exactly. All right. So, 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 opinions, good sir. Opinions. And opinions. Opinions. Um, I might actually be a little bit excited for this update if they do it right. Now. No. Now. No, I said now. Now. No. Okay. No. Um, Hold on. So, okay, I want to hear your reasons first. I, I, I think, I think that if, like you said, if they do things correctly, uh, the way they claim they're going to do them, then I think we're going to be, we're, we're going to have ourselves a decent update. Now, all the things they stated were very minimal. I, I, I think that that they're going to obviously have a lot more than what they just kind of hinted at. I'm going to guess with possibly a biome or something along those lines, because they always seem to add something along those lines, right? A biome right, yep. or or uh, a, a tree or something. It'll be something <laughs> that they're going to include to the world that they really haven't mentioned. Um, I think that there are certain aspects of it that are kind of kind of odd, but at the same time, really freaking cool. Like the uh, the specifically, I, I wasn't really excited about the entire Minecraft live at all. Until I no, heard, I mean, it was fairly boring. It was kind of hokey, um, <laughs> but I guess that's a target audience, right? Target audience. That's what we're, yep. we're looking for for kids, right? Is uh, the trial chambers? Until I saw trial chambers. Yes, I saw trial chambers, and I thought modded Minecraft. Like freaking immediate, 100%. immediately, I thought modded Minecraft. Well, I'm like, okay. pretty much everything they showed us for the next update felt very modded. Yes, it was. It, it was. I mean, if you look at the. <laughs> The, the loot chest, I mean the the uh, spawners. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I mean, it's pretty much straight out of a mod. <laughs> it's, it's, it is. I mean, it's cool. So the part that drove me a little nuts, right, is they showed uh, bits and pieces of, is it called Legends or Legacy? What the hell is it called? Minecraft Legends? Uh, le legends, yeah. I mean, it's, I skipped through most of that. I really yeah. don't care about the Legends stuff. They showed a ton of really cool stuff four legends and then they're like oh look at all the same stuff that we just showed you because they had the the whirlwind of and that was i guess they were hinting at the uh what's it called the breeze right with the wind right. of of uh, cherry blossom leaves flying all over the place and that's what they were kind of hinting at the entire <laughs> the entire beginning the intro of that the the cheesy video which again it's fine it's the it's it, it served its purpose uh, yeah but i feel like just like everything else is like they take little bits bits and pieces and they're like of modded Minecraft and they're like, hey, let's uh, let's add this. And I, I'm not knocking it because I think that's the way where everybody's been asking for uh, is, is modded Minecraft. But then they did a huge focus, a huge focus. And you had your old boss sitting on there uh, doing a whole lot of chit chat <laughs> talking about crafty. Yeah, uh, you know, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and and. I, what I noticed was, oh, we have all these creators, but they weren't. They, they're not Minecraft creators. They're specifically uh, marketplace. marketplace creators. Yep. That's who they promoted for this entire well, th they endeavor. They promoted the people who make them more money. They promoted all the people that make them more money. Like, obviously, there's like half of those people that that, that came on. Well, not even half. Like, 90% of the people that were on there, I, I don't know who the heck, heck they are, but they clearly <laughs> make... You know what I mean? They're not YouTubers. They're not con no. content creators, but they make them marketplace money. I mean, they could very well be content creators, but they're advertising their marketplace content. Correct. And that's cool, but I feel like the there was zero focus on the fact of the, the people that made Minecraft popular. I guess it's the same problem I had uh, when YouTube started doing its rewind. Yeah. Uh, the first two rewinds were actually kind of cool. And then they started going downhill, and they were clearly for monetization purposes. And I feel like Minecraft is, or Microsoft, should, I, should we say, is kind of doing the same thing um, in the sense that they're focusing on the people that make them money, not the people that made the game popular. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, 100%. And 
I don't know. They, even when they did focus on like the people who made the game popular, they never kind of helped or like showcased other smaller creators. They only ever focused on the big creators who really didn't need the shout out. Oh, you know, 100%. Uh, the only time right. they did that was we got to experience it at, uh, at Minecon, right? So if they were to bring that back, it's a, again, it's a very select few people that get to get a little bit of, it's not even a shout out. I don't even want to call it that because it wasn't a shout out. It was, they get to go up on stage and play with at the time, uh, is it 4J studios and with, uh, some of the team from, from Mojang, Mojang, whatever you want to call it. Right. So like Liam got to go up from our, from the channel. Cause he was part of the channel at the time and, uh, got to play with a bunch of YouTubers, you know, um, What's Stampy's wife's name? Bethany. Oh, what's her name? Uh, Squishy. Squishy. Yes. Yeah. Uh, IBX Toy Cat. Um, oh shoot, I can't remember the other dude's name. He loves cookies, and I can't remember it for the life of me. Squid. <laughs> no, not Squid. Who loves cookies? Oh shoot, I cannot like, remember his name. I, I'm thinking Beckbro Jack, but that's who no, I no. He's for. he's English. No, he's an English uh... dude. Um, anyway, it doesn't really matter. So he played with a team of four of them and, uh, Nettie plays. Have you heard of her? Nettie no, is, Nettie, so. Nettie is Stampy's sister. Okay. <laughs> so she has a channel and, uh, so she was up there and then they got to play and he got to play against 4J Studios, which was okay. kind of cool. Um, yeah. but Liam was, shoot, he was, shoot, I think he was five at the time, you know? So he was, <laughs> he was little. And he's sitting there playing with all these adults, and 4J had zero freaking uh, remorse to, to not destroy a child. <laughs> just freaking <laughs> annihilated him. It was bad. It was mini games. They were, they were playing uh, Xbox 360 mini games at the time because they were really big. Okay. And that's what they were promoting. So I don't know. It, it's just, I guess they don't, they, like you said, they've never really promoted smaller, smaller creators. creators in a whole where. Uh, YouTube, you know, YouTube doesn't do that either. <laughs> I can't say that YouTube <laughs> does that either because they don't. No, they really don't. They, I mean, anything that's trending is only trending because some guy in a basement somewhere said, hey, this popular YouTuber will make us more money if we make this trending. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that's what I feel like the trending page is just some guy in the YouTube's basement being like this one. This, this one, one, this one, this one. Hey, check, check Ooh, I like this video. I like Let's this guy. This Wait, this guy, this guy's an idiot. Let's watch him. Yeah. <laughs> That's YouTube's trending page. That's YouTube's trending page. I don't even... Yeah, have you ever gone to YouTube uh, just incognito? No, I haven't. Yeah, it's it's some of the weirdest crap I've ever I've ever encountered. It's like <laughs> I'm like I would never watch any of it. It's like nothing I would. I mean, the kids are like, okay, but it's I, trending. It's trending for whom? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not trending yeah. for me or my household because nobody in my household would ever watch any of that. Not any of it. I can't say any of it, but most of it. It's all music and sports and prank videos and right. and a bunch of, of vlogs that, uh, again, it's not something we watch regularly. I guess it's just the average consumer or average viewer. Maybe it's trending for. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. But anyways, back Anyhow, to the topic back to, at hand. Back to the topic at hand. And we got a little sidetracked. But <laughs> what else caught your eye from the... So the biggest thing that felt the most... Okay. Actually, let's go back to... Um... The what was it called again? The, the structure trial, that they're adding. Trial chambers. That felt very. Uh, what's the mod, the mod called? Um, roguelike dungeons. Oh yeah, absolutely. It felt like freaking or spawn or something. Yeah, hundred percent. And the blocks really did not feel like they come from Minecraft. They felt very. I don't. know, They didn't feel like they fit. I mean, I guess they're all retextures or re or using copper and whatnot. They but... they do fit to a certain degree. There's a um. There's a mod called. Oh shoot! I think it's called is it advanced engineering that adds like uh, what am I thinking of steampunk like structures? Yes, okay. into the world like cool looking lamps and and stuff like that. It reminded me solely of that, right? Of but that again, mod. like that's not Minecraft. That's never been Minecraft's feels. Like it just it felt very out of place. And once they add it, and you kind of get used to it, it will have its place and it will be Minecraft for sure. But it's. Probably the biggest modded feeling change that I've seen in Minecraft. You think so? You think that's the biggest modded feeling? I mean, I guess looks wise, yeah, you're probably looks right. Because, wise, because yes. I think trims was one of those that that made me feel like okay, they're they're starting to steal. And like when they they grabbed mangrove trees and they grabbed cherry blossom trees and they're grabbing. Well, they all stuff. kind of 
fit like they all fit the Minecraft world. Like this is the kind of the no, biggest thing that you're right. You're right. Doesn't fit. You're right. It doesn't. It doesn't look like it belongs. Right. Like and... it, it almost looks like something from Marketplace. And I I kind of understood after watching this video actually why they don't add so many uh, modded things into Minecraft. And it's a monetary because thing. It's a what? It's a monetary thing. I think. Why? Because if they add all that stuff, why would anybody want anything from Marketplace? Right. And that's it. That's what it boils down to, I think. I really do. I, I wholeheartedly believe that. I mean, I can see it 100%. Marketplace is basically Minecraft's DLC, and they don't have to put any effort into actually making the DLC. Exactly. Nothing at all. They and, and, and they three make... developers to make it, and they take it. They're like, yeah, okay, now we'll take a good 30% of this, or however much they take. Exactly. Yeah, I don't even know what the cut is, honestly. It's probably 50 freaking percent. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to say 50%, but that might... <laughs> See, the point is the sta- the point still stands at ten percent. Like it doesn't matter what percentage they take. You're absolutely right. The only thing they're 100%. doing is supplying you a place to sell it, and I guess they're also making sure it's safe for the marketplace and all this kind of stuff. But sure, <laughs> sure. <laughs> you notice my my hesitation of I call BS on that one. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I hold on. I'm building here and I'm doing a lousy job at it. Okay, um, but <laughs> I'm I'm mining. With- <laughs> with the uh what's it called trial chambers that they're adding yes and they really made a focus on this the next update it's going to be about adventuring yes and ba- remember our conversation it'd be cool just to be able to go on an adventure and stumble across lore based structures something that didn't really add much to the game correct yes i feel like i'm i'm hoping that that's something that they're going to keep like adding in this update because they're focusing on adventure I'm, I'm i'm really i'm having a high expectation for there being more structures and stuff like I, that i feel i feel i feel that you're going to be you feel me <laughs> that, that you're going to be disappointed <laughs> I, I i'm probably going to be disappointed but they have huge potential here i mean they only showed for the main minecraft update like three things that they were in the trial chambers this crafter which we will talk about in a bit and oh the crafter that, oh my goodness is yeah that, let's is, get into is, that so they have well, in a bit in a bit in a bit yeah, yeah yeah we're not going to get into that right now but uh but no, the the copper block changes I thought I saw in the what do you call it in the trial chamber were really freaking cool. I like them, but you're right; they don't fit because even like the chiseled one that they had in there didn't feel like it was part of the chiseled family. Is that does that sound right? Like you know what I mean? It doesn't right. Feel like the rest of the chiseled stuff that we have well, that makes sense. in Minecraft because there's a every block has a chisel block for the most part. Um, yeah, but, but they that, all have like a special design, like like not not, not design, but like I don't want to say like a pattern built into it. Right, and this one feels more like it's very ornate. Yeah, it's very. I like to you or used earlier steampunk. Steampunk, very steampunk. I mean, and that's what I thought of when when they introduced copper, and giving copper more uses. Honestly, with a lamp, I think is freaking cool. Yes, hundred percent. I've always also thought, why don't we have specifically for the iron uh, lanterns? right? Why we don't have multiple variations of that one for color. So they look cool. And two, to give more uses for gold and for copper. Yeah. Like why can't we have a copper lantern and a copper uh, and a gold lantern? Like those would be well, a really gonna, cool addition. If they're going to add all these kind of lanterns based on color or copper colors as well, why not add a dye to a redstone lamp? And now you've got a red lamp or a blue lamp, right? Like that would be it's such a simple thing, and that, that would, would be still freaking, fit the Minecraft. Field. Oh, absolutely! That would be awesome, actually, because now you don't have to surround this stupid thing with glass. Yeah, it would, you be, know? It would add a, such a. It doesn't have to make colored light, but it would look colored. Yeah, yeah. And... So you have a pink light, but it just generates white light, like normal uh, amber yeah. light, whatever. Kind of like the soul lantern is a blue light, but it's but it's just, just white light. The area exactly. Yeah, that would be really, that would be really freaking cool, honestly. Like why why wouldn't that be a thing honestly because they they the the dying of things is pretty a, a pretty normal occurrence throughout Minecraft right yeah they typically have a lot of things that you can die in the game right not much decorative aside from wool and I guess terracotta terracotta but... um, wool glass you know you can die a lot of a lot of the yeah, the, that's true. the prettier things that you want to make look good you can't die wood which I wish you could. Um, that would be very cool. You know, so you can like stain wood or whatever. That would be a really cool feature to have because, I mean, not every, I don't want everything to be the same color, but it'd be cool to have, you know, all of our color options in wood. It'd be, and it would be really cool to be able to stain 
something like like that specifically because it's glass like the redstone lamps are called a redstone lamp so they're going to stay that red color i get it but yeah. here's an opportunity where it's well, this copper lamp and you you can get the opportunity to they have an opportunity to introduce a dyeable glass for this if true. they if they choose to do so i don't think they will yeah i really don't think they will the New mob, the, I don't the know what new you mob call is it. The called windstorm? the uh, the the breeze. Breeze, the, the breeze. breeze. That I mean, it's basically a blaze, just with a different it, texture. It is a blaze. It's uh, it 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 acts somewhat the same, but it acts a little erratic too. Does it have a projectile, or does it blow wind? Or it blows wind, again? and the wind is non. It's not. Uh, it doesn't affect you negatively. Like it doesn't cause damage, but it can cause damage to things around it you, triggers redstone contraptions like it opens doors and trap oh, does doors it? and okay levers and stuff like that so like it could affect your redstone contraptions i guess but like does it blow you like do you actually get movement from yeah it? yeah it'll knock you back like i think like eight something like eight blocks if it blows you so over that's kind of cool i guess yeah I, i'm not knocking that i mean it's gonna no. knock you <laughs> <laughs> i'm not knocking that the its abilities are kind of cool um yeah the fact that it's like a little mini boss in these trial chambers is kind of cool too. So they, they, it looks like what they set the spawners up like is it, it feels like the same system as when you fight the, uh, the illagers from, uh, what do you call it? Uh, that come and attack villagers that raid the, the, the village raids. Yeah. Right. Or the raids. Yeah. Right. So it's going to, it's going to come in waves and you have to destroy these waves. And when you destroy, finish destroying these waves, um, instead of getting the award of uh, hero of the village, you get a uh, you get loot from the top loot of from. now the spawner. The loot felt very mild. I mean, they showed emeralds coming out of it. And all it that kind was of stuff. very hokey. But they also played it off to be that this trial chambers was something you're going to test your test your test your skills. Fifteen years worth of skills against, right? Right. But you're going to test how skilled you are at this end game dungeon. And get emeralds for like I know I feel like they have to add some kind of like a, custom a new, loot and there's probably loot. some kind of new loot something that you get specifically from the dungeons and maybe you have to complete all the trials to unlock this even if it's just a trophy just something something like uh, like the dragon's head or something like that right when yeah you kill the ender dragon or, yeah like something like that would be really freaking cool because if it's something that's just basic loot um, one it's gonna be cool because you're gonna be able to add vanilla versions of of loot chests, I guess. Yeah. To, to the game. I mean, it's definitely great for like map makers and stuff like that. And one right, thing I right. found about this update was it's great for, for map, map makers. makers. Exactly. So That's kind of what I looked at it because they promoted the map makers so much. I'm like, oh, I get it. I get it now. I get what they're yeah. doing here. They're they're giving a, a big le leg up to what maybe and maybe that's exactly it. Maybe they're not listening to us at all. You and I and everybody else playing Minecraft on the regular game, they keep saying we're listening to our, our uh, to you guys. We're listening to you. I don't think so. I think they're listening to the marketplace people. This is yeah. what this is what we need. Yeah, I can see that. And there's no more to it than that. And they make it sound like we're listening to you guys. I, I feel like that's who, who this played to more so than you and I. I mean, for you specifically, because you make maps. <laughs> so it makes sense for you. But for me, yes. where I don't build maps, I I don't see a benefit for it other than some more gameplay. Yeah, I mean, the ultimate loot that could come from this new dungeon and spawner yeah. is something that they 100% need to add, but the 100% are never going to add at least for another two to ten years. <laughs> Would be some that? kind of key or some kind of portal spawner piece. Like, could you imagine the end of the the dungeons or the trials? There's a portal that can only be opened with a key from defeating all the trials. That would be freaking and, cool. So something impenetrable that you, that you can't dig through. Yeah. And, and it, it opens up a portal. That would be very doom like. That would be it would follow the long along the lines of the 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 legends, right? The Minecraft Legends crap. Yep. Where it's more uh exploratory gameplay and your the keys are the key <laughs> specifically, you know? Uh, that would be pretty. That would be pretty cool. But you're right. I don't see them ever doing that. I don't see them doing it. But that would be such an amazing update to the game. Oh, absolutely. I don't disagree. One hundred percent. The the new mob that the one the vote. I'm actually surprised. The armadillo one. The armadillo. I thought the, Ethan, I thought the so armadillo. Ethan wanted the first one out. So Ethan Ethan wanted the armadillo to win because he wants dog armor. 
I'm like, oh, okay. So the, I, mean, I guess it, it played to the people that that wanted it, I suppose. So yeah, I don't know. Um, he didn't vote because he was all about the don't vote thing. He signed, right. he signed the petition. Um, and they claim that they hurt us, and they claim that they're going to introduce the mobs. But I really, I, I, I'm, I'd say I hold them to it, but who's going to hold them to it? Nobody. I it's don't... funny, in the uh, mob vote or the live, they said we had so many of you voting. I mean, it's not like it was the most amount of voters they've ever had. And yeah, exactly. Pretty sure they probably yeah. had the least amount of voters. I'm going to say, yeah, they never introduced the amount of votes that they that they have which is hysterical to me i like it'd be cool <laughs> if oh, on their website on the, the minecraft.net website that it showed a counter so everybody right. knew where the vote was i think that would be that, really cool i think it was really w- well done of them though to have the voting open for two days before i i don't disagree i think that that was perfect there was no outside influence i mean there pro there could have been still some big youtuber could have been like yo everybody go vote for this mob and you have two days to do it so they have two days to basically advertise it but i don't think there was right but yeah i am very surprised that armadillo won i mean it just adds dog armor and it doesn't look like that exciting of a mob <laughs> i don't think it looks exciting at all i think it looks <laughs> honestly kind of hokey i mean I, I i wasn't saying i would didn't want it but i definitely wanted something else <laughs> more for sure. more for sure you know and, uh, and again i really want all of them <laughs> is that bad is that uh super freaking uh greedy of me to say i want all the mobs shouldn't be okay well uh, then i I want all the mobs (laughs) i uh saw after our conversation there last week i saw a video on some uh, some youtuber basically kind of made a comment on what mojang's response was to everybody saying add all the mobs oh and they're going on about how so i guess some of the uh, developers tweeted out other people Uh, there were some negative ones where people were like sending them death threats saying why don't you just add all of them blah 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 it's like death if you're threats. gonna right if it's one thing to take the community as a whole when people are saying we want all three mobs but that's not the majority you get the odd person saying that and it just affects everyone negatively yeah but then they have other people like they met one of the main developers i don't know who said it but they said something along the lines of if we spent all the time adding these three mobs we'd have no time to add the other stuff oh no they did not they did say that they had a year to make the last update, but mm. ignoring that between when we recorded yeah. and edited, yeah, I went and found, I looked, I, I searched mob vote mobs yeah. and there were five mods that oh, added yeah. the mob vote mods. Oh, absolutely. Already. It was three days. Yeah. No, it's freaking three. nuts. It's freaking nuts. How fast these mob mod developers act. It blows me away that it takes uh, Mojang so long. Again, I'm not saying that they they have they, they probably have resources spread all over the place, and that's fine. I'm not knocking that. What I have a hard time with is that comment alone. That kind of made me mad right there that you just said yeah. that. You know what I mean? So I don't know, man. I, <laughs> that seems that feels lazy to me. That feels yeah, very lazy. I mean, lazy to me. We would have uh, nothing. Else. They make it sound like they they spend freaking all their man hours making this one mob. <laughs> Which you've, we know they don't. You've got to be freaking, you know. No way. I'm not going to say the word because it's going to make me more mad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I get there's probably a lot of QC and they try to break it as much as they can. But like, how many different versions of the same update are they going to release? And they release pre-releases all the time. So add all three mobs to a pre-release within a week and let everyone else bug fix it for the next yes two months that you're going to take to take to actually make this thing it's not rocket science dude but i mean they treat it as rocket science and they get mad when people say it's not so yeah i mean you said it best in the last in the last go you said that the the basic model for making a mob already exists and yes all they're basically doing now is reskinning re they, they just put a new model on top of the mod and change its spawn locations, and sometimes give it a new ability. Right, they give it some new, is some new traits. Is going to have a new ability? No, the armadillo is not going to have a new ability. No, it it's might gonna... hide inside of its shell, which is just a new animation state. Okay, big freaking right? deal. Well, yeah, the, the, the turtles don't. Right, turtles don't do that. Turtles probably could. The player gets close to it, it could probably have it so that it hides in its shell. Right, but it doesn't. It doesn't. So the armadillo doesn't need that. It's just going to walk around aimlessly and then. When you kill it, it's going to drop something. Guess what? The codes already exist for that, too. Right. The new redstone block, the crafter. Okay. What are your thoughts? 
The new redstone block, the crafter. Uh, smooth basalt. Okay, never mind. I'm being overzealous, <laughs> man. <laughs> um, I think it's a, uh, a redstone developer's dream. Uh, I think what we've been asking for the longest as a redstone person yeah. is a block breaker, not so much a crafter. I want a block breaker for the for the life of me, why we don't have a, something to break blocks. The crafter's cool, but it's, it's, it's really only good for, I mean, in my opinion, if you have a farm and you want to craft the stuff into blocks or whatever, but if you're playing on a survival world, yeah. you're never going to have that many materials that you need to craft into I, I blocks guess, unless you're just bored. I guess the only people that I think are going to really, really, um, what do you call it? A benefit Maybe from it, it? Benefit, benefit yeah. from it are going to be people like Mumbo. People on servers that have shops where they want to sell a copious amount of items and they can just create a farm and have it automatically craft the items. Right. And that's going to be it. I don't think we're going to see much more than that, to be honest. Like I can see it again on mini games where it's like, oh, I want to give this person a sword. But if I store a thousand swords, I need 50 chests. Whereas I could just put 20 stacks of iron into this right. chest. You're right. You're right. right. Absolutely. That's... But again... That's a multiplayer thing. It's not a single player. No, because I would have I have zero reason to to make that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I mean when I've played modded Minecraft many times, crafters are an amazing thing to help for progression in the game. Right. But so they'd be great for maps. They're no... great for maps or like servers. Like when you build yours, if that were to be introduced into your server, I think it would be really freaking cool. Yes. And I mean people would use that for like trying to what do you want to call it? Automate L box or some kind of currency on the server. Right, exactly. So there, there's going to be a, a way to... I mean, people do that now, but using redstone. So if that makes the redstone contraption a lot simpler, then cool. I mean, it's right. going to be... Bene like I said, it's going to be beneficial to those individuals. But other than but, other than that, other than that, I don't know. Like, I, like when I was saying about progression in modded, modded uh, packs or whatnot, picture like um, the Sky Factory. You have a lot of crafting to do in that to be able to upgrade a lot of stuff. Yes. A to upgrade lot. all your machinery, to upgrade a lot of crafting armors. Crafting. But there's nothing like that in vanilla Minecraft, right? You craft something once and you've got it. Like, that's really, there's no machinery. There's no crafting armors. Not really. I mean, you craft your armor, but then you just fix your armor or upgrade it with uh, netherite. Right. That's not done in a crafter and it's only done once and that's it. Right. So I don't see, I see it in the progression where we're getting modded items in the game, but I don't see it being a useful oh, item. That is a, uh, a fair, <laughs> a fair, what do you call it? A uh, 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 re review of, of the craft. Right. Because I mean, it it's gives you hope that they're going to start adding more modded things, things that typically wouldn't be in Minecraft. Like you never thought they were going to add a crafter in because that's not very Minecraft. Minecraft. Right. It's not Minecraft. So now that they've done it once, well, there's they no do. reason why they won't add a block breaker. Like, Is there? <laughs> Is there no reason? <laughs> there should be no reason. I mean, there's already no reason. I feel like a block breaker, blah, breaker is more vanilla than a crafter. Uh, Yeah, I think so. I really do. I mean, they added spikes in. They could have made a recipe with spikes that break blocks. Right. That was an, Actually, that was their way in right there, but they didn't utilize that for whatever reason. I'm just sitting here breaking freaking amethyst. <laughs> it sounds and cool. Another like machinery block that they could do. I mean, they're not going to because it might be too technical. <laughs> we're but too skeptical. A fan. I think we're too a skeptical. A fan. A fan to blow like things like to breezes. blow mobs. Oh, to blow yeah. mobs, dude, that would be cool. See, so, so is there a way to utilize the breeze for something like that? That would be freaking cool because then well, you can you do can a mob control the breeze. How it blows, right? Maybe you could put a breeze on one side of a tunnel. And it's targeting a snow golem, kind of like yeah the um, zombie farms or whatnot. But but I don't believe yeah. I don't think that's going to be a thing unless somebody's super creative. I mean, I guess you could if you were writing the the code for it and you were you were modifying it, right? Then you can right. then you could probably generate something like that for again back to map making. But as a individual playing the game, I don't think I'd be able to utilize the breeze for something like that. There'd be no, no. the breeze will be something cool to come across as an individual playing the game. Unless I see a very cool uh, farm or something like utilizing the breeze and how do you do it? Yeah, I don't see a way to to, to use it for that. Right, that's unfortunate. Yeah. That's really unfortunate. Yeah, but that's really all they've shown us for 
Minecraft uh, 1.20.1, which is why I have, I'm excited because they showed us very little. So do you think they have they a lot more? Us, well, yeah, because what they showed us was pretty cool. Like what I, they showed I, us for 1.20, oh. what they showed us for 1.20 was the camel, the player skins, and the bamboo blocks. That's all they showed us. Right. And then they added archaeology, the biome, um, and a couple other small things. Yeah, they but didn't really add much more. I guess the structures as well that go with the archaeology, the um, ruins. I've I've yet to find them. Have you uh, have you run across no, them I yet? No, I haven't found one yet. yet. I haven't found one yet. But, uh, and I love the desert, so <laughs> I have yet to find an uh, archaeology and site. I guess the armor trims from a development point of view was probably a big addition. Uh, from a development point of view, it was probably very difficult. Right? All the custom textures, all the different kinds of trims, all the locations they spawn, See, all the specific loot generating. When you, when you talk about textures, that 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 kind of... I, I don't know if I agree with that because I I, I know there's a lot of a lot of uh, uh, designers out there that do great freaking like skin skin packs and texture packs and stuff like that that I know it takes a while to do but if they have a team you know of two or three people on these textures I don't think they take very long but they, they probably, probably don't but they go through a lot they, of QC. they probably go through a lot in front of a lot of eyes before they're agreed on you're right a lot of eyes a lot of revisions like. The one texture for one of the um, armor trims was probably changed 10 times, oh, 10 easily. to 20 times. Easily, yeah, for right. sure. So to have a team that has to go through all of that, it would have taken a lot development-wise to add all that. So I have, I'm holding faith that because they showed us very little, and I mean, they've already thrown the crafter in the game. You can now play with it in the uh, experimental features if you load up uh, the snapshot. Okay. They've already added it to the game, and it works as intended. So... So it's already they've been added built. that. It's already been they've done. Already sh yeah, they've already showed all the textures and the blocks in the Minecraft Live for the um, trial chambers, and they've got the spawner working. So it's just the oh, that's right. New so mob. You, so we know that 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 functions. Yeah. So it's like the world generation they have to figure out, which they've already got the code to do. They just have to make it work for that. Okay. And then they have to do the um, new mob, the armadillo. Right. So. But you don't think the They've armadillo is already most... done? I do think so, but they haven't shown it to us, so I'm going <laughs> to give them the benefit of the doubt and say, okay. no, it's not already done. So they have to still do that. Um, uh, I think it's and... done. I think it's done. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's done. Um, yeah. I, I need another pickaxe. So my, my pickaxe is going to break. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think that the the next update, if they, if they add all the things you are specifically anticipating, that they're going to add you think it's going to be a lot bigger of an update um i'm skeptical i think it's going to be what we just saw and it's going to be a couple little items that's going to be added <laughs> well there's definitely going to be a new biome i mean they pretty much always do a new they always biome. do, new, nice do a new biome i wish they, they could do a new biome and revamp an old one at the same exactly time. i wish they would just do that like maybe in the middle like a, as a, a baby freaking update like you know when they start doing all the the, the... 1.21.1 1. or whatever yeah, exactly yeah, I like, mean, typically they try to do the point as like fixes, fixes and little right. tiny additions. Right, they're usually but, uh, they're usually bug fixes. Yeah, but um, they made a point to say what did they say exactly? How did they word it? It was something along the lines of we want to go back and fix some of the not fix but make better stuff that's already in the game. So they've gone back to the one point twenty update and made it so that the pots will now be able to be broken with bows and arrows and um, fireworks and a crossbow. Oh, Just okay. a little detail Yeah, that adds a lifestyle change, which is actually kind of cool. It is. I don't so disagree. if they keep going, if they go back and make a whole bunch of changes to like things that could be better in the game, that could be just by itself a nice little update. It should be a points update as well, but... Right. Uh, they did really try to lay on that it was going to be an adventure update and there's going to focus on adventuring so i'm really holding out that they're going well, to kind of stay true to that but that's what they kind of did with 1.20 uh it is is supposed to be an adventure update because of mm. the think about it it's what they where, where you're supposed to run around to find all the trim stuff that's the adventure yeah i guess but it was also kind of considered the like working together update it was supposed to be kind of bringing everyone together in what sense? I mean, that's kind of how they kind of, what do you want to call it? Advertise it, right? When they first showed it was, 
with the um, new who, skins. It's kind of keeping everyone equal. Who are they bringing together? The community. <laughs> <laughs> who, who, are they, who are they? Who are they bringing together? <laughs> I'm confused. I don't know. What was it called? The Trails and Tales update. So yeah, you would think that would be. Why were they called Tales? I, their stories. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wasn't it spelt T A I L S? Was it was? Was it? Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I'm just pulling out my phone here. What was the Minecraft 1.20 update? Minecraft wiki. I don't know. It's tales, like stories. Okay, like stories. Okay. okay, so well, I don't know. I don't know, dude. It just trails and ta- I mean trails and ta- but think about that for a second. It just just the 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 name alone says explore. That should have been the trails adventuring. and tales. You're taking trails and you're gonna tell stories. That means you're yeah, that going sh- adventuring. That's what pirates that be do. The adventuring. Yeah, hundred percent. You know what I mean? So, what are they gonna call this update? Well, do they have a name for it? No, they haven't given a name for they it yet. Not, not usually until later on, like when they'll come yeah, up. Yeah, once like they a, come up with more with a, stuff to add. Yeah, to then it. that way they can do a trailer or something for it. Oh man, I don't know. You're right though that they the last update was the adventure update. So, so why are they doing another adventure update? Is what I'm getting at. I mean, don't get me wrong. I want adventures. I want to see more, but they didn't really do much adventures for the last update. But that was definitely right. intended to be the adventure update. Right. I mean that's what they that, that's what they added. I mean, the the shards of the the clay pots, um, stuff that you can sweep in the desert with the brush or whatever the heck it's called. Yeah, the archaeology stuff. All the archaeology stuff because that's what adventuring is. Is that's what archaeology is? Is adventuring. <laughs> so I don't I don't know. I just I I, I feel that that's not what they Intended. are pitching. Not, not what they're pitching in the what do you call it? Yeah. In the new update? Yeah, the new update. Even though that is what they said they're, they're pitching. I mean, I'm not saying that that's not what they're actually pitching, but they're. I don't feel that that's what they're pitching in the new update. Right. I'm trying to move stuff into a chest, and I'm doing a lousy job at it because I'm <laughs> talking. Oh, oh, I forgot I put that mod in. Yes. Oh, what mod's that? Uh, mouse tweak. Okay. So you can just scroll, scroll over everything in your inventory. So I guess to end this podcast, we should spend like 10 or 15 minutes talking about what mods we would actually like to see in the vanilla game. Like something, so some of our favorite mods. So I have, so I, every time I load a new version of Minecraft, I always look for the same like five to 10 mods every single time because they're useful. And a lot of them are client side. They're nothing that really upgrades the game. These are the ones that I feel like Mojang could add, and it wouldn't change the game itself. Okay. Like mouse tweaks. I think tweak, I know what one instance. of them is, and I might disagree. But what's mouse tweaks do? Mouse tweaks basically allows you to open a chest up and scroll over the items while holding down shift, and it automatically pushes everything into your chest. Okay. Yeah, I could see stuff like that being useful for Instead sure. Instead of single clicking items, you know what I mean? It's, yep. a, it's an easy update. It's nothing fancy. It's not like rocket science. I can literally, I'm holding down shift and I'm dragging over everything and it all pops up into my inventory. It makes right. it makes gathering things out of a chest fast. You know what I mean? And then what other mods do you have? Uh, so I want to say, I, I want to say journey maps, but that's not the case. I love journey maps for modded Minecraft, but for vanilla Minecraft, I don't think it works. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think a map mod or map addition to the game would work i don't think so either i think it it takes away from the vanilla version of the game i love maps i personally love having the map in the corner of my uh of my screen um for two things one i can see where mobs are and two i i can know where i've been so i i don't get lost because i get lost really easily i'm an idiot (laughs) (laughs) so uh, i i need a map and i don't like making them like in the game and I don't feel okay, like they're yep. they're not big enough to tell you where you're at exactly. You got to have multiple maps, which is kind of lame to me. I wish there was like a world map you can have. Right. You know what, well, I mean? you know what would be kind of cool? What's that? Like a map. What do you call it? Like a book of maps. Something a book of maps. A your, map book. That would be like awesome. Something you put all your maps into and then you can kind of like, anytime you open it up, it shows where you currently are. It doesn't have to, you don't have to scroll through the maps. It just opens up to where you are. Yeah, you have to make like a, a 50 book map book. And it can only take up 50 pages. That, then after that, you need another book. That would be cool. So yeah. that sounds Minecraft esque, right? That does seem very Minecraft esque. And I feel like it would actually fit in the game. Like it would work very well. Yeah. Uh, another one that I love um, 
it's not necessary, but I wish they would do a version of this. It's the way I, the way that JEI works um, is a bit encumbersome. But if they added that ability to more than just the stupid little book that they have for crafting things on the left hand side, the ability yeah. to search items and see how it's crafted is kind of weak. <laughs> it depends. I on... mean, it's great, but it only the way it works in vanilla Minecraft is you've had to have collected the item to craft it before you get the recipe. And not just that, you don't even get to see the item if you haven't collected the items. So I don't like know. The... I don't know what to look for if I've not. If I'm looking for, like, say, I'm, I want to build a spyglass, and I didn't realize yeah. I needed amethyst. Right? I'll never know how to build a spyglass unless I ask them because somebody. only the amethyst triggers the correct uh, recipe. Gotcha. R right. So that to me is kind of, I, I don't know, I, I, if you can toggle that feature off where it gives you all the items and it just shows you what you're missing so you can go and find said item or go to your chest and go get it or something, whatever the case may be, just so it, it, it gives you an idea of what, what to look for next. If I need copper for a certain item and I haven't found copper yet, which copper's everywhere, I'm just using it as a stupid example, <laughs> um, I will I would, give you every uh, recipe yeah. that copper can make exactly I, and i would never know that because i haven't found copper yet right and to me i feel like that's a it's not a missed opportunity but it feels like for those that get frustrated with survival and only play creative because they get frustrated and i don't know how to build that and i've talked to a lot of kids because I, I, I my kids have their friends over especially when they were little their their friends had no idea on how to play this game because th they only want to play creative so they can grab stuff from the menu because it's too hard to figure out what to build. Now, I think Minecraft does that relatively well, though. Like, if you actually sat down, open survival Minecraft up by yourself, yeah, it shows you kind of the natural progression on how you would craft things. So, like, you wouldn't necessarily need a spyglass or diamond armor until you kind of crafted the other stuff. So, typically, when you start playing Minecraft, you stumble across iron right away. You pick it up. Oh, and then all of a sudden it pops up. Hey, you can learn these recipes. Sure. You start crafting those up, right? And then as you progress more and more, and it does a decent do job teaching you how to play the game just by slowly playing it. Sure. Um, another one that does change change the world a lot is we only have a small amount of storage available in the game. Yes. And I feel like chests are great. <laughs> <laughs> they're very limited, right? And same with barrels. You can't double up a barrel. A barrel is a barrel. You can only have the freaking, you know, three rows. Yeah. That's it. You can't make a larger barrel. Um, I, I Can we get larger capacity things? I agree. Like something, a triple chest or a quadruple chest. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, something I don't, just, it could be an iron chest. It could be an obsidian chest. Yeah. It could be whatever. I'm not talking about like uh, like uh, advanced energetics or whatever, where you're doing an ME system, right? Those right. are awesome. Don't get me wrong. I freaking I I love <laughs> building an ME system. That's the best storage system on this on this planet when it comes to Minecraft. But um, uh, it, give me something a little more, like you said, like a triple chest or quadruple chest. Even if you gotta go into a crafting ch uh, table and put three chests in the crafting table to make it, or so, so around a chest with a bunch of iron or iron blocks or something. Right. So you have a bit an, more money. Right. So you, like the, the iron chest mod does that, right? So you can have an yep. iron chest, a copper chest, a gold chest, a diamond chest. Those are a little excessive. Um, I don't I don't know if that, that would be a very, they don't feel very Minecraft-esque. But no. the iron chest and the copper and gold chest absolutely do because they all, they're about four times for the, uh, the space. Not even four times. Right. I think it's only like double actually. Of what this chest is, of a, of a double chest. So, I don't know. I, I think that that's uh, not a missed opportunity, but something that I'd love to see in the game, in, in vanilla Minecraft. That wouldn't take away from the gameplay. No, it would just kind of give you more options for storage versus having to have a million chests set up in your storage area. Right. And then but, um, uh, another one that I feel was missed with this update specifically, and I've talked about this before, is the fact that trims don't have any kind of buff right they're so expensive and i feel like it would be a very simple feat to make that expensive item have some type of buff so you have a reason not just for decoration but you have a reason to get this armor upgrade because now it's Something an armor that, upgrade i think a lot of people i've seen mentioned and it's a mod that i think would be great to have kind of implemented in the game but 
being able to have like in a pocket a chant and jam and something that adds more slots to your inventory and they had the missed opportunity with these trims they could have been pocket trims where oh. certain trim adds a certain amount of slots to your, in your inventory oh, absolutely like even if it's only like three slots three additional yeah. slots you know what i mean that's no that oh, you stupid creeper oh no did you just get annihilated a third one's a charm yeah are, are you just like being surrounded by creepers you like to go Dude, hunting in creeperville so many. and that time i i saw lava below me I, oh. oh are you in a cave i was oh okay well that explains it <laughs> hi I kitty couldn't get out of the way of the creeper because i was floating above a freaking tower of freaking fracks of freaking fracks i hate towers oh, yes. of, i hate towers of freaking fracks uh. <laughs> oh lucas <laughs> oh man that's funny <laughs> i haven't i haven't i haven't died yet you haven't died yet i haven't died yet something i do real good in minecraft is you dying do, that's another do, mod do. i want in minecraft what's that gravestones so that way my oh, items don't disappear i would love the ability to even if they don't give you location like if they just said, have, no exactly like you still risk losing them forever yes but it just turns into essentially a chest sitting yes where you died absolutely and like, like there's no marker you have to remember where the heck you were yes that would not be not even a chest they've already implemented the freaking concept you know the pots well you can now put items oh, inside the pot yeah make it an but urn you don't have it they don't have a gui so when you die it's a gravestone without a gui and it just holds your items till you break it and then right. it drops on the ground so it's an urn your urn yeah. is left behind, and you got to go break said urn and go get your stuff. That's a great that's idea, dude. What it needs to be. Absolutely. Wow, that's that's brilliant. Seriously. Tomorrow is going to suck for me. Why? I have surgery tomorrow. Oh, no. Yeah, not, nothing bad. I have a deviated septum, so they got to break my nose and fix it. What the heck? Yeah. Well, they, what, what do to, you mean they're gonna break? Not your break nose. it. They have to like shave down a part of it and, and like remove a part of the inside of my nose. So it's gonna suck for a minute, dude. Yeah. The heck? Yeah, my wife says it's gonna it's gonna be uh, no fun for a few weeks. So the first. <laughs> and week, are you awake for this? Uh, no, no, oh, hell, hell no. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, hell no. They they put you under. It's a it's an outpatient thing. So you do just check in. An hour later, they do the surgery. Then an hour later, you go home. Type of thing. But. Uh, um, I don't drive or anything. I, I got got the wifey picking me up and stuff like that. So that's so not, you, they still put you to sleep. They put you under there for an hour. Yeah, they put you under for. Oh. <laughs> Drop some good lucks for tea in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, I, it'll be uh, uh, it'll be good times. I can't I can't wait. I'm so excited. Sarcasm <laughs> entirely included. You know, no kidding. Anything going near the nose just kind of like creeps me out. Oh, I mean the amount of stuff she told me about risk. Uh, creeped me out enough <laughs> so yeah uh i'm already i'm already creeped out enough okay so i still want jei <laughs> or a form of it right which is why i th thought it was kind of cool because as you progress the game you kind of naturally pick up certain things that then shows you how to progress further kind of thing oh and something along the lines of of what do you call it of chests i want faster furnaces oh speaking of faster anything I want faster item transportation. Like I want some form of trans tra item transportation that isn't through freaking what do you call hoppers? Hoppers. I want the item transportation that goes upwards, like pipes. Yes, without having to use a redstone contraption in order to do it. Yeah, I have to use. How many times do you go mining in caves and you have to like lug stuff up to the tops and you don't want to build yeah. a redstone contraption? Or I guess you can do a water elevator now, but still, like that takes up a lot. But you just have one single pipe going from down to up. That'd be awesome. That'd be fantastic. Uh, Using a hopper still, because a hopper, and you can make a hopper switch direction, that would be awesome. Now, I mean, because of the crafters, they've kind of opened up the opportunity to do that kind of stuff now. I wonder. They're adding more machinery oh, type of stuff that pipes isn't really that far-fetched anymore. No, it really isn't. Like, I, in this modded version, I have pipes. I have item transfer in this. Uh, hold on a second. Let's turn this off. Uh, let's do pipe. No, where did it go? I don't know. There, there's one of the mods I, I added in here has like a storage system in it, but it's not an ME system. It's, okay. It's a very vanilla-esque, but it does have <laughs> a form of wooden pipe. Okay. Which is really cool. It looks very Minecraft-esque because of it. Oh, where the crap? Oh, there it is. Uh, inventory cable. 
is what they're calling it. And it's just, oh, cool. it's like a wooden thing. It's made with uh, wood planks, trap doors, and sticks. And it's a cable to uh, to uh, transfer items from one place to another. And then there is a basic inventory hopper to pull items in or push items out of a chest. Okay. And it uses a hopper and some wood and an inventory cable. <laughs> it's really it's really basic, very Minecraft-esque looking stuff. Uh, what's the mod called? Hold on a second. Uh, I don't even know. What's it called? Oh, Tom's Simple Storage System. There you go. Yeah. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate you, buddy. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. <laughs> Appreciate you, buddy. I, I think we're going to leave it here, guys. I hope everybody enjoyed. I know I did. Uh, thanks for joining, uh, Lucas. It was an absolute blast. Yes, it was great. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, uh, don't forget to uh, to like, subscribe, and all the good stuff down below. And if you guys do have any topics you guys want us to talk about, uh, leave that in the comment section as well. So until the next one, see ya. Bye.